a new update for Flutter Firebase plugins, Flutter architectural overview overhaul, Flutter hotfix release 1.20, Riverpod release 0.6, a new video from the Flutter team for Flutter Explorer, Flutter Pen, Package and App of the Week. My name is Max and these are the Flutter news. Invertase, a UK-based consulting company, works together with the Flutter team to bring the new packages or plugins like Flutterfire to production state. In order to show off the newest results, Chris Sells created a Medium article where he shows all the, de uh, all the newest features in detail. This progress is regarding to the core authentication and Firestore plugins. This will help to bring the APIs more closely to the other Firebase SDKs. Additionally, they created a website where you can see now all the different versions of Firestore and their plugins. And also they provide their migration guide to help you bring your code to the newest version. You can find the link to the Firebase website and the article down in the video description below. Flutter architectural overview. The Flutter team made a new colossal update to the Flutter architecture overview. It improved the documentation of the architecture overview in nearly every aspect. For example, it improved the documentation and provides more information for architectural overlays, widgets, rendering, layout, platform and bending, integration with other Flutter code, web support and further information. So if you are interested about the whole architecture, how Flutter is created and how the foundation of Flutter looks like, please check out the link down in the video description. Flutter 1.22 hotfix. There has been a multitude of issues found and fixed in the new hotfix 1.22 that is now in stable channel. It fixed several problems around the new date and time picker and additionally solved some minor issues that lead in the worst case to crashes of your applications. Down in the video description you will find a link that shows you all the different things that have been fixed and the link to the repository. Riverpod 0.6 has been released. It brings a lot of new functionalities, like for example modifiers. Additionally, the documentation has been improved and it has additional work under the hood. According to Remy and one of his tweets, it seems that it loses its experimental status soon and it will not get merged into the provider package. Flutter Layout Explorer video. There has been a new video release from the Flutter team that you will find up in the video info box where they talk about the new Layout Explorer that you can find in the DevTools. I highly recommend take a look, it is a fantastic video where they explain you in detail how it works. Package of the week Flutter commands. We asked you what is your favorite package this week and the answer was pretty clear. Flutter commands. Flutter commands is the newest package from Thomas Burkhardt and is a reinvention of Rx commands. Flutter commands has its roots in the .NET world. It offers a structured way to access functions in the model layer from the UI and returns the results in an easy for the UI consumable way. The benefit of that is it gets rid completely of streams and additionally you have for example the possibility to prevent double executions of a button click. The Flutter Pen of the week is created by Sebastian Garçon. He shows in his pen the Cybertruck of Tesla. The Cybertruck here is created with Flutter and the custom painter. We love the most how precisely and accurate he recreated the Cybertruck and shows once more the capabilities of Flutter. Cryout is the app of the week. It is an application that allows you to send a distress signal whenever you feel in danger or you feel unsafe. Additionally, you can ask other people for help to watch your back if you are going on a walk 
with the safe walk feature. This allows other people to check out what, where you are and send a distress signal on your behalf. The application is completely built in Flutter and we love the most that it is look fantastic, has a sleek design, as less distraction as possible. You will find the link down in the video description below and please let us know what you think about the app. This is now the right time to hit the big subscribe button, give me a like if you like that video and enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you for watching and see you the next time. Bye.